And uh, we were with him two days ago at the Bombers of Kenya. Again, full of humor and full of hope for this country. And uh, we were discussing many things and I think sometimes the futility of life is a bit worrisome that just the day before we were discussing with him the future of this country, the safety of our people. Here again now, we are preparing to bury him. I think I just want on my behalf and that of my family to say, Mama, please take heart with your family. Difficult as things are, trust that God is in control. We shall continue praying for you and holding you in prayer as you come to terms with this very difficult uh, reality. To our men and women in uniform, let us take heart that the general has died in action, on duty. And I think that is a pride of every soldier, that he died as he served this country. We want to encourage you to get stronger and to continue being committed and faithful to your country, protecting our borders the way the general did. Thank you, Your Grace, for those encouraging words from the scriptures and from the Bible. Your Excellency, sir, with your permission, at this point, I would like to invite Joel Rabuku to speak on behalf of the family and just speak briefly. Welcome, sir. Your Excellency, the President, Excellency, First Lady, Excellency, Deputy President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, all cabinet secretaries present, general officers, senior security officers present, PSs, and all protocols of jobs, uh, and general's family and friends. Karibu Nisana to general's home. Uh, we haven't even stayed here for long. It's been less than a month or two since we've been here. That's why many of you were getting lost going to another location, but this is where we are. Otherwise, mine is just to say karibuni, everyone. Uh, I'm seeing very many sad faces, but general would just uh, be wondering what people are so sad about, especially since he has prepared us for this day for a very long time. And uh, you, you guys look look a bit happier. Uh, we as a family are leaning on his faith, on our own faith, and on the faith of Jesus Christ which was his corner rock and stone for everything. And the general is in a good place. Um, I got to see him both yesterday and today, as you've heard when I was going to try get his belongings. Those of you who know general and his sister, Paris, they had a very cheeky smile on their face when they're doing something cheeky. I can tell you general is resting right now with a cheeky smirk on his face. So, nyinyi msivurute sura sana. Naya even in death and Ashanga, you are too. What is the issue? It is it's going to be well for all of us. Poleni Sana, everyone here had a personal relationship with him. Uh, feel welcome and the very sad and tragic death of General Francis Omondi Ogora a fine general who has served to secure us from external aggression as Kenyans for a period of over 42 years. Reminds me of statements that have been issued in the recent past of Mambo Ni Matatu, a very unfortunate statement. A statement that he tried to overthrow my win and we still await an explanation as to what that meant. It reminds me of the death of Tom Boyer, of the death of Honorable Robert Ooko, the death of Othiambo Bai, Dr. Othiambo Bai. 
the death of Chris Musando, the death of Jacob Juma. It reminds me of the death of over 70 young blue men who were killed last year during demonstrations for the sole reason that they said that their sufriers were empty. The cost of living is unbearable. It reminds me of the attempted uh, killing of the former Prime Minister, Raira Amoro Odinga. And this brings us to a situation where we must ask ourselves some very difficult questions and a very difficult conversation that we must have as a country. This is a very high price for one tribe in Kenya, the rural community, to pay. It's a good time to say enough is enough. I don't have the exact numbers uh, because we, we are aware that some have been trapped, but we don't have the exact number. So until we establish the number, inform the families, then we'll be able to tell you. How many were on board? I will not be able to give you that information now because we are trying to compile it all together because otherwise that will just create speculation. I am deeply saddened to announce the passing on of General Francis Omondi Ogola, the chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. The demise of General Ogola is a painful loss to me. The nation will observe a period of three days of mourning. I convey my deepest condolences to all families that are grieving this untimely loss, this is a very sad moment, a moment of great sadness. And flags of all formations of the military shall fly at half-mast by a multi-agency team stationed adjacent in Baringo County, after which he proceeded to the in Wasingishu County, where he addressed troops, commending them for their resilience. His entourage departed from Kainuk to Chesegon in West Pokot County, where he launched the rehabilitation of Cheptulel Boys High School. 